Congresswoman-elect Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez sparring with Donald Trump Jr. on social media. Ocasio-Cortez tweeting, I have noticed that Jr. here has a habit of posting nonsense about me whenever the Mueller investigation heats up. Please keep it coming, Jr. It's definitely a very, very large brain idea to troll a member of a body that will have subpoena power in a month. Have fun. That came in response to a photo Trump Jr. posted on Instagram mocking Ocasio-Cortez, who is a self-described democratic socialist. What do you make of this back and forth? Uh, this confirms what I've long believed, which is that social media is making us all stupid, and we should <laughs> unplug, turn off our phones, delete Twitter, and spend less time on it, and have actual face-to-face -face conversations with people. And don't just surround yourself with people that agree with you, but seek out people that disagree and have a civil conversation. But you're on Twitter, right? Uh, my staff is on Twitter, and I sort of you. you're not supposed to admit that it's not you. I direct them, and there are parameters, and uh -huh. I approve everything that gets put out on Twitter. But I don't personally have Twitter on my phone, yeah. so I'm not checking it every single day. Sometimes I use it to filter nerdy foreign policy things for me. I, I understand this is Trump Jr., but when you see somebody get in, you start to get into the mud slinging with the Trump team, it seems like it leads to a situation where you release your DNA results, and you're less Native American than I am. <laughs> I don't think that'll happen to Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. Um, I don't think that it's smart to throw around terms like subpoena, especially when you haven't even taken your seat yet. And as she then pointed out in the when she backed up off of it, I won't, you know, I'm a freshman. I'm not going to have a good job on any of these committees anyway. But I do think, and you know I'm not particularly a fan of her politics, that she's far further left than I am, she is doing something very important for transparency in Congress with the live tweeting of everything that's going on, the orientations where she's pointing out they're all lobbyists, where's labor? Though people pointed out labor could come if they wanted to host orientations. And I like that she's doing the videos and really involving her constituents. She's saying, you sent me here. This is what's really going on. And I think that is valuable for a public that doesn't trust people who hold elected office. No offense, you seem great. No. Can right. I like the videos because uh, she shows how empty Empty-headed she really is, and and her brain is as empty as socialism itself, and the ideas that she pushes. I don't have a problem with trolling and counter trolling, and and I don't all have, have a lot of patience for people who get so outraged because you know. Don Jr. says one thing and she responds. Uh, I do agree with you that, that people who think they're going to punch the president in the same manner uh, as hard as he does, I, I think they create problems for themselves. And it's very inauthentic. Like trying to fight the president or members of his family uh, the way that he does, it, it doesn't make a lot of sense. And she needs to revert back to what it was about her that resonated with voters that allowed her to unseat uh, a popular long term incumbent in a a primary and I think she's gotten away from that and you know she's she's bought into her own mystique which has certainly tarnished a bit in the last few interviews. Congressman what what has what's her reception been like I mean is, is she getting outside outsized publicity in the rest of the world or is she going in and kind of shaking things up what's it like to be next to her? Well she's not yet a member of Congress so I'll uh, quite honestly say I haven't had a chance yeah. to work with her they were there for a couple week orientation it does seem like she's incredibly famous and gets a lot of press uh, and I hope that every new member of Congress will focus very intently on how do they do their committee work how do they do the tough work of legislation as opposed to sort of just focusing on how do I get a bunch of Instagram likes or Twitter retweets or whatever it is I think that accelerates a trend we've seen for a long time which is to say Congress has become a theater uh, for, or, or an element of political theater as opposed to a serious legislative body it does seem like you guys don't do a whole lot. I mean, no offense, but How it's very, you. I mean, Say it's, that to my it's, face. Oh my really, gosh. it's really painful <laughs> for the rest of it. I understand you want to do more. Yeah. Um, but in terms of like solving some yeah. of the more obvious problems. Well, I have to def defend the House. It's, it's easier for us as a majoritarian body to pass a lot of legislation. We passed a ton of legislation that then uh, went and, and died a slow death uh, in the Senate. We were okay. joking earlier that the problem with the Senate is everyone wants to be president. I think there's an element of truth in that. Um, but certainly, again, both bodies of Congress have to be more jealous in guarding their equities and not allowing everything to be done through executive order. Because that's a failure of the legislative process. I think you make the argument that everyone in the House wants to be a senator. That's true. Very true.